Eighty percent of all employees and other stakeholders initially when asked to embrace or make a change would just as soon not. In other words, 80% of all stakeholders are initially in what we call mild to strong resistance. And I want to talk about a certain type of conflict that I observe and experience more in the government sector, if you will, than in the private sector. And I also want to talk a little bit about how you can move past that and resolve that. I want to give you a, a, a tool. I call it the uh, a strategic four box influencing tool. I use this tool a lot when I'm dealing with multiple stakeholders, diverse groups who are not on side. They're very polarized. They'd rather get in there and just argue about their position than really try and understand each other. They said, you know, our mantra is we're easy to work with, but when we try and get things done internally, we experience anything but. It allows people to articulate concerns in a safer way, especially if there's power differences. Uh, it builds trust and transparency. I know middle managers love it because they're saying, hey, don't shoot the messenger. This isn't my new policy or it's theirs. This process allows them to maintain their reputation and credibility. It prevents people from what I call catastrophizing. Catastrophizing is, oh my God, here they go again. People need to know why do we need this change? Because the people driving the change, they've got it clear in their minds. The people being asked to change, it's ambiguous. What's the pain of staying the same? And we ended up with a hybrid solution that everyone was committed to. It wasn't pure centralizing. It wasn't pure decentralizing. It was a hybrid that would allow both parties to feel engaged. Thank you very much.